Hey guys, today I want to talk about um, translucency sort priority. This is like a really, really handful. Um, it comes in handy at, in a lot of places when you have some problems with rendering translucency in your scene. So for example, there are two meshes in front of each other or one mesh is inside the other mesh and both of them are using a transparent material. So in the default, which uh, zero means it's set on default. Uh, the Unreal Engine itself decides which uh, object to render first and then it will go ahead and render the other object just behind the, the object that is just rendered. But there are some places that UE4 can't really decide which object to render first and it just, just snaps and comes forward and backwards and it's just it's so messy. So to fix that, you have this translucency sort priority. If you know that in all cases, this, uh, transpa this translucent mesh will be rendered, will have to be rendered first, then you just go ahead and set uh, the sort priority to something like 1 or 10 or 100. I don't know. doesn't really matter. Or if you are sure that the mesh that you're having a problem with will be always be rendered in um, behind the other transparent material. Then you can just go ahead and set, sort the prior set the priority to some like minus one, which I already did because I've recorded this video for like numerous times. Uh, so like minus one, but you have to um, you need to have something in uh, in mind that. Um, there are instances you need to know what you're exactly doing because there are instances, for example, I've set this to minus one, there will be um, a transparent material behind this, like a glass behind this object. And since the uh, priority for this one is minus one and the other, for example, somewhere like here, and the other one is set to zero, then what happens is that the engine will render this one first and then this one. This is what happens. So you really, really need to pay attention in what exists in your scene and what doesn't. It really is up to you. There's actually a, um, in documentation documentation.unreal.com, there's actually an article about it, which you can just go ahead. I, I'll pass it in the description I can just go ahead and read it and see how we can mess around and play around with it okay this is just a solution for the problem I had faced recently and I shared it with you I hope you will never need it because it's just it's such a headache to be facing such things um, and if you have ever faced this problem I hope this really helps you out um, I hope you enjoyed it and if if you did please hit that like button cheers